Hi, this is Ashley Mott from beautiesfluid.com and I'm actually doing my third out of what was going to be four videos but then I opened that Sephora box back there and that's actually stuff that I have packed because I may be moving within the next couple of weeks. So I actually only had three videos to do so. Now I feel really stupid because in the other two videos I was telling you about how I was going to be doing four so yeah, bad call there. But anyway, um, I'm going to get right into this unboxing because um, I was kind of pleased with it. I used um, my VIB reward from the end of the year, which was um, $25 off, I guess. It was either 10 or $25. Um, anyway, though, I used it. That's what happens when you wait a month to do your unboxing video. You forget the little details that make life worth living. <laughs> but this is actually kind of what I was really going for with my order, the Juicy Couture Fragrance coffer set. Uh, it's a $35 value. And basically it was just really, really cute. Though it was the devil to get open. I'm going to see if I can just pop it open really easy for me. Yeah. Um, I took the bottles out already because I really had a hard time getting them out. But as you can see, they ship very, very well protected. And each one is a third of an ounce. Which actually makes this a really good bargain because if you buy the um, really small bottles, they're going to cost a lot more than this individual one. And this way you get all three. And basically the three fragrances that you get are the original Juicy Couture, which I admit that I've never worn. Um, because I immediately, I uh, guess when I became aware of the brand, I they were already up to Viva La Juicy and I just absolutely fell in love with that. And that was what I went with. But then, I ended up taking a sample of Couture Couture, and I absolutely adore it. It is as good as Viva La Juicy, but in a completely different way. Like, Viva is a lot more bright and floral and fun, and Couture just has a, a bit more of a sophisticated element to it. And I'm just going to have to try out the original formula and see how I feel about it. But I just really, really like those three bottles. They're just darling and they're perfect for a purse um, individually or if you were kind of unsure like you wanted to wear something deeper to the office or to work and then wanted to switch to something more fragrant and floral for a nighttime scent. You could definitely take two of those with you. And they come in, like I said, this really cute box. So if you wanted to store them in there for safekeeping, if you're only going to take one at a time, that's completely easy to put in a dresser drawer or a vanity drawer and forget about. And I also got this Sephora catalog, which is now completely irrelevant. Um, one of my free samples was the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Acne. I don't really have an acne problem anymore, but I really like the original Exfoliate, and since that wasn't the free sample on offer, I figured I'd give this a real extra fun. And I got Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. Um, I actually um, tried, uh, I guess it was Paracone MD, and I really, really liked um, this formula that they had that is supposed to minimize pores. I mean, people jumped in and go, like, you can't shrink pores. Oh my god, you're so stupid. You can't shrink pores. It's not about shrinking pores. It's about making them look smaller. It's an optical illusion. And I think that anybody who is going to jump down your throat about the uh, semantics of a statement are completely missing the point of that statement. But anyway, the Paracon MD stuff is prohibitively expensive. The cold plasma, that's what it was. It's like um, over $100 a jar or tube or whatever comes in, which is kind of out of my league. And so this Clinique Pore Refining Solutions, I'm kind of interested to try that and see if I can get if not the exact same really great results, something similar. Oh, here's my receipt. Let me see here. What was my discount on here? VIB stuff. Oh, great. Don't put the price on there. I also got a sample. Um, I got a fragrance bag sample. Um, the fragrance samples have actually been absconded with by family members. But it was actually... Um, when it left over from when they had the fragrance bag, the beauty bag, and a uh, skincare bag, and then the smoky eye essentials bag. You could pick between the three. The other two were gone, um, sold out by the time I used my VIB reward. So I ended up with just the fragrance, and all of the other um, free sample cards were basically taxed at that point. It was right before Christmas. 
But the um, I was kind of pleased with the ten perfumes they gave me. They weren't the same ten that you always see rotating on the free sample page on three free samples with every order. So it was nice. Um, and I also got the Diane von Furstenberg um, fragrance um, as one of the three free samples. And actually, I kind of read negative reviews about that, like, oh, this is an old lady smell, blah blah blah. But I didn't find it that way at all. It was actually kind of um. One time my mom bought me um, for Christmas when I was probably 14, and I didn't really like it at the time, but it was a set of four perfumes that I guess were big in their day, but that were kind of not something that a 14-year-old kid had ever heard of in the late 90s. And um, one of them was like Taboo, um, which came like in a miniature violin jar. And there were three other ones whose name I can't remember, and I wouldn't remember Taboo if it wouldn't have been in a nifty container. But... Um, Basically, you know, they all ended up smelling the same because a lot of old perfumes all have that really deep scent to them and I don't know, there's just not a lot else there and the Diane von Furstenberg reminds me of that in a good way. It doesn't really smell old or old-fashioned, but it just has that the same deep notes that those fragrances did. Um, I'm sure that a little bit would go a long way with you on that. So basically, um, that that was actually a really nice free sample because I really wanted to know, well, is that something that I would eventually like to get for myself? Or are these people with the negative reviews actually speaking the truth? Um, hopefully, it will come out in a deluxe sample size vial that I can end up getting with a 100 point beauty reward or something like that so I can get a larger test sample before I actually went all the way. So that was my Sephora unboxing and the fourth Sephora unboxing that I promised or the fourth unboxing which should have been the second Sephora is actually false alarm. That's basically uh, there's some Christmas cards in there, USB cable, fun stuff. Uh, basically just the leftover crap from my desk. So yeah, that's it then for my unboxings. Um, I did some other videos back in December that I never uploaded, so there might actually be some weird um, back and forth here with um, the timeline. So, yeah, um, one of these days I'll actually upload all of my videos right after I film them and not hoard unboxings and do them all at one time. But actually, I'm probably at the end of unboxings minus my monthly birch box and perhaps julep maven. I actually passed on my January julep maven box because I'm planning a move and I really wanted to keep as little stuff coming in as possible, even my magazine subscriptions. So, with the exception of birch box and potentially julep maven after I actually get moved, um, this will be it for a while um, because I basically got everything from Sephora um, minus anything new that I could possibly want unless I was actually lucky enough to get Makeup Forever set, which is probably going to be sold out anytime now. So um, beyond that, basically, I'm going to be starting to do some makeup videos and some tutorials and um, individual product reviews which will be a lot shorter than this video which is about to hit nine minutes so I'm looking forward to really developing a different kind of content and I'm looking forward to um, having a dedicated office in my new home and being able to actually possibly come to you from a setting that is a bit more beautiful than the one behind me so this has been Ashley Mott from BeautiesFluid.com, and it's January 16th. Hopefully, I'll be checking in with you in early February, and I'll be checking in with you from somewhere else entirely. Until then, goodbye.